And then we get to our next one, the sex chromosomes, and how sex is inherited. Colin. Well, if you look at the sex chromosomes, um, Lorraine, I, I think it's so nice if you show them how, why, and where the X and the Y get their names from. Yeah, this is a karyotype. I hope they know this, that um, the, remember what they do is they take a photograph of a cell in its dividing phase and then they cut out, they enlarge it, cut out the chromosomes. This one was treated with special color. And then we get, remember we have 46 chromosomes, 23 pairs. 22 pairs are autosomes and one pair form the gonosomes and there you've got them. Now if both are big chromosomes, there you can see the XX. If one is a big chromosome and one is a smaller chromosome, it's XY. And the shape of the chromosome makes us think of an X and there you can see a little Y. And there is pair 23 big one, small one. And if you see such a karyotype and you are asked to exp identify whether it's male or female and give a reason why, you look for pair 23. Now sometimes it's down here or sometimes it's on the side or sometimes it's over there. But it's the one that's not numbered and it's the last pair. You will see distinctly that it's either two big X chromosomes when it's female or an X and a Y, which means that it is a male. And I think when they do get the karyotype in the exam, they will be asked to identify whether it's male or yes, female. Definitely. So make sure that you know. So um, you can also expect to get a monohybrid crossing with certain sex chromosomes. And here you see that when we refer to males, because they have two different sex chromosomes, we say they are heterogametic and females homogametic and um, that means they have two of the same uh, chromosomes two X chromosomes and males they have an X and a Y two different sex chromosomes and this brings us to sex linked disorders we also refer to it as X linked because it's normally a disease that is carried on the X chromosome um, so that is why we always say women or daughters are the carriers where men or boys become the sufferers. And we're going to look at this. And the two diseases that you have to know for exam purposes is hemophilia, which is the inability of the blood to clot, which means that they, they are bleeders, and color blindness. These are the two sex-linked disorders. And with sex-linked, once again, we say it's because it's carried on the sex chromosomes and specifically on your X chromosome. You will, you will find that... Um, there are many other genetic diseases and for instance albinism and we will show you is, is one that you have to know but the only two sex linked disorders hemophilia and color blindness so don't get confused please okay when we um, use the sex chromosomes so when you do see two X chromosomes immediately you have to know this is female now the hemophilia um, gene or allele is represented by a recessive uh, or a small letter H here, which means it is recessive. And that means this is a normal female. She carries two normal alleles. This is also a female, but she has one normal allele and one hemophiliac allele. But she is not a sufferer. She is a carrier. Why is she not a sufferer? Because for her to be a sufferer, she needs to have both recessive alleles, and we'll get back to this later on. But she's a carrier. Why not a sufferer? And why doesn't she have the disease? It's because she has a normal gene, a normal allele, that masks the presence of this recessive allele. So she's a carrier. This is a normal male. We said earlier on, and this is maybe more explanatory, we said it's only carried on the X chromosome, which means that any male, any man, any boy can only get this allele from his mother because he gets his Y from his father. Oh, sorry, Colin, that should be a capital one there. That should be yeah, a capital. Sorry, I'm so let's... sorry. Mm. So please make a note of it that it must be a capital H. There's Shall a we normal. quickly fix this? There you go. Sorry about that. 
because I think it's so important that we need to immediately fix there this. There we go. And there we are again. We right. do apologize for Normal that. Normal mail. And that is why we have two seeds, so the one can also mask the, the presence of the other one. And here we have the affected male. He must have, you, you see, he's affected. He's a bleeder. Why is he a bleeder? He only has one X chromosome, and this is that you need to explain in the exam. Why is he affected? Why is this man a hemophiliac? It's because he only gets one um, allele from his mother. And since there is not another X chromosome with a normal allele, it can't mask the presence of this one, and that is why he is a sufferer. Yeah, we see affected females or sufferer females. They never are because um, with, with hemophilia, they usually are spontaneous abortions, in other words, miscarriages early on in the pregnancy. So just one thing. We cannot see I might be a carrier female, and I might not know it. So my phenotype is normal, even though my genotype might indicate that I'm a carrier. So that's just one tip that we Before need we to Before we continue, do. Lorraine, yeah. I think it's important that we, we refer to Franz Lin's answer there. Yeah. She says a male cannot be a carrier in a sex-linked disease, only a sufferer or normal. And that is her answer. Yes. You see, the question is, why can't he be a carrier? Why is he only a sufferer or why is he uh, or normal? And she says, because X, Y, X is a sex chromosome. Now, do you think she could get a mark for that answer in, a, in an exam? She's on the right way, but not yet. No. Yeah. So what do you think? She must say that the it's caused by a recessive G, um, allele carried on the X chromosome. And because a male, the male uh, um, sex chromosomes, X and Y, there's only one X. It's got the recessive gene um, coding for the disease that cannot be masked by a healthy gene because the A does not carry an allele for that characteristic. Right. Let's so you just have to complete your, your answer. Remember now, you have to be specific in your answer. Mm -hmm. But well done, Franzlin. Yes. She's the one who got the idea. And it's interesting, this has bearing in history. There's the Russian royal family just before the Russian Revolution. We know that they were murdered. And the Tsar and the Tsarina had four girls. We don't know whether they were carriers or not. But their youngest child, their fifth one, their only son, Alexis, was a sufferer from hemophilia. And they actually got that from their great-grandmother, Queen Victoria of England, who was the grandmother of three-quarters of Europe. Okay. And, and just maybe the, so that they can see if we can just um, go back, just show them that these are the females as, 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 as represented by circles. And a carrier, of course, they will give you the key and males by the square boxes. And you must know that too. Yes. Here's another interesting question on um, the sex link diseases. If you look at this, the question is, why was Goliath, why is he a sufferer? If you look at his parents, Enid and David, why is he a sufferer? And the question is, why is he the sufferer? And your answer must go back to the parents, which means he must have got this from his mother Enid, and Enid must have been a carrier of hemophilia for him to be a sufferer because he got the yeah. X chromosome from his mother. And if you look at Enid's father, Peter, he was a sufferer, so obviously he gave her the X chromosome with the but disease I, gene. Yeah, and I think this is even more interesting. Mm. Why is it that this hemophilic, this sufferer father, can never have a sufferer boy? He, he cannot have a boy there because you can see the boy gets his X chromosome from his mother and never from the father. The father only gives his healthy Y chromosome to the boy. Yes. Right, there's another genetic disorder, albinism. Albinism is because of a lack of pigmentation, no pigmentation. You have to look at the, um, at, at the very, sorry, at the symptoms. It's normal inheritance, dominant recessive. Albinism is a recessive characteristic. So anybody with albinism is homozygous for the characteristic.